Okay, sorry. Sorry, um... Hell, I'm socially competent, I promise. And good evening. Ladies, lasses, and lasses. My god, you look... Astounding today. I'm a little bit jealous. Rar XD. So anyway, today we're gonna do something absolutely beautiful. We're gonna look at r slash aged like milk, like fine, lumpy, sour milk. Who needs flakes in your milk when you already got lumps? Oh my god, you know who has nice lumps? You. You aged like wine. Enjoy this video. Mwah. Does that sound weird? <laughs> I mean, yeah, all my interests are weird. Let's do this. <laughs> Love how the tone of this postcard shifted ever so slightly between its making and today. I hope the letter mining will be used in your paint. <laughs> Did they know? <laughs> they knew, right? They knew. Oh my god, look at that smile. It's supposed to be so wholesome. I hope my hard work goes to your home building. Hippity hoppity, some little lead poisoning in your property. Elon Musk, I will put a man on Mars in 10 years. 10 years ago. <sighs> <laughs> we could just live on Pluto, you know? You, you, you've seen pictures of Pluto, right? It has a little heart shape. It's gonna be a bit cold, but if you live in the center of the heart of Pluto, you're gonna feel all fussy, and that's gonna compensate for any spatial cold, I, pr I promise. <laughs> Trust me, I'm an engineer. <laughs> Diet device. Aw, snack on some candy about an hour before lunch. Sugar's quick energy can be the willpower you need to eat less. Surprise! Sugar isn't the bad guy. The sugar in a soft drink or ice cream cone shortly before mealtime turns into energy fast. And that energy could just be the energy you need to say no! Hear that? Eat candy instead of food. <laughs> Pure sugar instead of sustenance. That's gonna be good. Do those extra helpings at meantime. That's why sugar is a good guy. Surprise! Sugar, only 18 calories per teaspoon, and it's all energy. Yahoo! It's such a general advice as well. Who promoted this? The sugar company? <laughs> what? Yeah, it's not like sugar is one of the, like, leading causes of health problems, like, in general. Like, no, this is per eight. Amazing, thank you. It feels like there are so many trends that are similar to this, that just goes like back and forth. I remember a bunch of years ago when they always were like, oh my god, let's use more plastic so we save the wood, you know, save the trees. And now it's like, oh, no, plastic, no, 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 wood, <laughs> save. I mean, I of course, yeah, you have to take it with like a grain of salt depending on when it's said and yada yada. Doesn't mean that the current stuff is bad, but it's kind of funny how things just flip back and forth over history. It's very entertaining. Train up a child the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. What? The fr what? No, that, that thing is bigger than he is. Are you serious? The maker of the place that had the pew pews, very tragically a while ago, Rifle sent out this ad a week before the pew pew. Oh my god. Oh jeez. God my god. This didn't age like milk. This is like a dog ate the milk, barfed it up, ate it again to just barf it again, and then you let it sour. This is atrocious. Oh, here's the video. The new electric donut factory simplifies the deep fry game. One unit puts the batter out. What? While a tank, which plugs into any socket, has a thermostat for maintaining even temperature. You have a donut maker in your house. I got sticky fingers from eggs. The 50s all the were time. in the future, man. And she's they over really here, were. Like hands clean. What is this madness? They had it all figured out years ago. God, life was just easier back then, wasn't it? The new Nelly Holder dispenses paper. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, forget what I said. They didn't have it figured out. Oh my god. No, that is so wrong. How is this so normal back then? The towels with a touch of southern hospitality. Oh, with a touch oh, of southern no. hospitality. Oh. <sighs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You lost me after that paper towel holder. I can't, <laughs> in good conscience, keep yeah, watching your Good video. choice. <laughs> Holy crap. I love how it's, like, aged like milk in two ways. It's like a double souring here. The first souring is obviously, like, yeah, heavily racist kitchen dispensers. And the second milk is, of course, like, oh, things were so much better. And then just the literal next scene is just, oh, no. I guess, uh, I guess they had some... Some minor quirks, didn't they? I am a founder of Mars One, setting humans on Mars in 2023, ask me anything. If this happens by 2023, I will eat my hat on YouTube. Deal. That was 10 years ago, you think they'll do it? I kinda want them to do it, honest, that'll be amazing. Ah, <gasps> oh, yes. A victorious Prime Minister declares peace in our time after Hitler agrees not to invade any more territories in Europe, 1938. I remember that, I watched a World War II documentary not too long ago, and uh... Yeah, it was so hopeful, but very brief. 
Yikes. Why the Saul Goodman spin-off is a bad idea. <laughs> I said this in 2013, and this aged... Oh dear god, it aged, didn't it? List of last words. I am still alive, Caligula, Roman Emperor, after being <laughs> fatally stabbed. You know, the keyword, fatally stabbed, and... I am still alive! It's more like, oh my god, I'm bleeding out, I'm slowly dying. <laughs> Wholesomeness, think about it, as living quickly. Yes. Roman emperors really had a thing for getting stabbed, didn't they? This comic from 2008, around Iron Man first release. Now that Marvel Comics has used up X-Men, Spider-Man, Hulk, Fantastic Four and Iron Man, we're wondering what the third tier characters they have left to date make Nightmare into movies. Characters from a bygone area. Come on, kids! Join Captain Merka, and we'll beat those Nazis! Captain who? Characters who were never cruel to begin with. Ah, oh, fear not, Doctor Strange is here! In an outfit designed by Bob Mackie and circled the slit. I don't even know what that is. And characters you probably never heard of. I am Ant-Man! My power is to shrink down to ant size, which is a totally useful crime-fighting power, right? Also, my costume is totally not date, though. <laughs> I mean, yes, yeah, some some superheroes really are extremely ridiculous if you just look at them out of context. So, I mean, the comic is good. It's it's like a good parody on these things. It just aged very poorly because nobody could expect Marvel to be like, let's make this the biggest budget thing ever. Um, so, good parody, but aged like lumps. I can't watch the inevitable documentary about how we all wronged Amber Heard. Oh dear. Why must we torture women before giving them a redemption arc? That's not, this is not, that's, that's probably not the takeaway you should have from this. I have seen so much stuff around this, and I'm kind of like, I don't know, I'm a bit weirded out it became such a big public thing in the first place uh, for, for, for all parties. It's just, I don't know, the, the entertainment and drama aspect of it, I think, was, was a bit over the top. It was fine in the beginning, but then it just went completely spiraling. And no, this is a, this is a bad take in general. No, stop. <laughs> Chad flicks Disney Plus and Prime Video. No, we can't release the season all at once because we want people to keep talking about our show for a longer time. And Netflix, here is the whole system, bro. You can do whatever the frick you with with it. That that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> you try to pump at work every three hours, but then you're understaffed. Your milk supplies diminish at eight weeks postpartum. Will you even have milk available when she gets home? Nobody forces you to have a baby. Why do you make it everyone's problem? Oh. That aged like 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 barf, like fine souring barf, just lying on your floor, getting sucked into the floorboards, and wow, now you just have to replace the whole floor. I hope you enjoy your house tasting like barf. Sense eight. At this point, if it says Netflix original, then I'm watching. They know what they're doing. Seven years ago, dear heckin' God, no. <laughs> All then, you're freaking acting like we want to show kids the adult naughties or something. <laughs> but something I've learned through the years is that whatever right-wingers accuse others of something, it's definitely because they're projecting. Substitute teacher Alden was charged Wednesday in a criminal complaint fined in federal court by discriminant child adult naughties. Oh, that was so... Oh, dear God, that's so bad. Oh, yeah. Who's projecting? <laughs> I always find it weird when people try to turn, like, I don't know, vague political alignments to like some kind of football team thing. Oh look! You had a bad person over there! Ha ha ha! Got him good! Or we can just acknowledge that there are bad people in all demographics and, I don't know, try to talk about how to actually make the world better instead. How about that? YouTube, pride is for everyone everywhere. Here's to celebrating the LGBTQ plus community and creators this June. Th they took a decision about a topic I don't really want to mention because I've seen the uh, See, seen bad things happen to, to when you mention it, but uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, actions and words are two very distinct things. Nick Cannon is everything wrong with our culture, knocking women up and them being too busy banging other whammons to take care of his children. Fathers control your ding a ling at home and raise your darn kids. Guess who has three illegitimate children? He doesn't acknowledge. <laughs> What is it with people taking these massive moral high horses and then they turn out to be exactly the same? What, what, what is this like human? Oh my god. I guess this is projecting, isn't it? Oh, we just we just seeing it live on the internet. You know, in the past at least, we had the luxury. I mean, in, I suppose to some extent that, you know, oh, we did stupid shit that the world didn't see it, right? But now it's like everything is immortalized online for better or worse. Oh, dear God. Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. 
It's not coming to PC. Coming to PC on August. <laughs> what do you mean it's not? Oh, that tweet is from 2018. So they were like, it's not coming to PC, but then it's just uh, PC. A uh, good choice. PC is a pretty big platform. The will to survive compels humans to run away from danger. So God made police officers run towards danger. The wicked free when no man profless, but the righteous are hold as a lion. I can't read that god for second freaking cursive BS, but yeah, this this is age well. What, what? <laughs> oh my god, this is this is so bad. I also like how it's really blowing it out of proportion. We're basically messiahs, God's gift to humanity. And then in practice, it's just like the opposite. Ah, <sighs> uh, I'll get you for that, you ye yellow monkey. Ugh. Oh dear god, <laughs> Captain America, please. That is n no, what? I remember an old Tintin comic from like the 50s or 60s or something when I think they go to Congo or something like that and and it's some it's so incredibly racist it is unbelievable they're just walking around and see like oh look at that little monkey child can you believe they are actually human it's like whoa Tintin what the f Holy shit! And then they did like a reinterpretation of this, but they still have to fill out the same like frames in the comic. So they like really awkwardly mash like more, well, politically correct stuff into the reiteration of it. So it's like something like, oh, look at that gentleman over there. Despite their skin color, they are just as good as we are. And it's like, fam. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Old comics and stuff are so freaking wild. I think it's fascinating in a way because it very much portrays where society was at at the time in a surprisingly like colorful way. That's weird, but yeah, it's uh stuff ages, man, and it doesn't age well. You want me to go away rehab for 28 days just to save my job? No. You know what's more important to me? Family, my two daughters, my wife, and they believe in me. Frick this place. Yeah. He was arrested for a DUI the third time in 10 years. Oh, come. And DUIs are so bad. It's like, it's not only about yourself anymore. You endanger others. This is, why are you so confident? No, please, just get help. This pastor just admitted to having naughtily abused a teen. Or, as he tried to frame it, committed adultery. That's, that sounds more proper, doesn't it? <laughs> and 20 years ago. The strength of sin is secrecy. Pastor John Lowe, it reminds me what someone said at some point. When you it, when you cheat in school, it's only cheating if you get caught or something like that. Don't apply that logic. It's It sucks. <laughs> Especially when it's like, the, the, oh, oh my God, I'm flabbergasted. R slash mindly infuriating. I can't delete my account from you slash deleted. I mean, they, they did, I think they managed to do it, right? Microsoft once held a funeral to mark the death of the iPhone when it launched its own line of phones. <laughs> I mean, I like the meme get-ups. It, it, it's, it's pretty badass, but you didn't get anything right, fam. Get five for your old cleaner, any make or condition. When you buy a new Hover vacuum cleaner for $49.95, win a night out with Jimmy Saville. Uh, Jimmy Saville was a notorious naughty predator and uh, the big bad P-word in the UK, whose crimes truly came to light after he died, even though the companies and broadcasters he worked with used to disregard his action just as Jimmy being Jimmy. Oh, his voice be so quirky. You know, he just casually goes around and, you know, does those things. It's so quirky. Small print, under 18s only. Oh my freaking god. Hoover Jr. kind of summed that up. Oh, it's so bad. Jesus Christ. Why are the comments funnier than I am? This is outrageous. Decentralized content. Oh, I remember this. Question. This is a bit uh, of a throwback. Me, it, it, it's reasonable to compare you, I usually don't do this, to Steve Jobs and what he did for computing. Yeah. Uh, I regard you as a visionary next generation person. Looking it, back at this, kind of ridiculous pressure that nobody needs. it's really cranch, isn't it? You know, Steve Jobs was, I, I don't think there is another Steve Jobs. He was a phenomenal entrepreneur. We've got an incredible opportunity to try to uphold a legacy in Silicon Valley of changing the world. And Disrupting the world. We're working 24-7 to yeah. do Well, I understand that's exactly how you work. Smacking with them corporate dub us words. Heck yeah. CEO. Congratulations on all the success you've had, and I sure hope you win. Well, it's a privilege to be here. Thank you. Yeah, that went really well. Oh, heck yeah, we're disrupting the IT industry with team alignment and innovation synergy. Oh yeah. Gotta squeeze some machine learning in there too. Mm, which is basically an Excel sheet in most cases.
I love EDP. He puts on a funny rage meme persona, but if you really look at him, he's a great guy. Two years ago. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, this video is especially stinky today. Oh my god, this milk has really gone rotten. If you don't play Duke Nukem 3D, you like men. From 1998. Honestly, isn't it really the opposite? Like, oh, I am gonna play with this super muscular man. Hopefully in third person so I can stare at his buttocks all game. But if I don't play it, I must have something... I, I, I must dis dislike... But like... Ma which t no you have all the country sheriffs oh no bravery is not the absence of fear but action in the face of fear january 25th oh and they're like the, the fallen heroes and they reference people from like 1800s and oh no please no this is so weird why are you doing this i mean posting it like this with the context is oh this wild Game developer. I normally like your R slash Diablo. I like reading all the feedback and talking in the hot topics of the day. I think a reality check is warranted here. Almost all of the facts presented in this post are fabricated. In Diablo Immortal, there is no way to acquire or rank up gear using money. There is no 50-50 system or rank upgrade. The links side this proof don't link to proof of the assertions at all. You can choose from a variety of skin tones, including black, during character creation. I encourage everyone to form their own opinion on Diablo Immortal. It's a game myself and the team have poured years of bloody sweat into making. If you're curious about the microtransactions in the game, factual information is available elsewhere. You can check the game out for free when the game comes out. You know, the game that was absolutely notorious for being completely unplayable because everything is like microtransactions. <laughs> and was it to like max out a character or roll it so you actually progress. I was like, oh yeah, you can spend like a hundred thousand dollars or something like that. It was nuts. And it keeps ramping up. There's a couple of super good videos on YouTube going through like all the steps and weird like spider webs or microtransactions that are set up in this game. Don't get me wrong, microtransactions are fine and if the game itself is free. But when the entire progression of the game past like level 30 or something depends so heavily on only microtransactions, it turns into this kind of predatory system where when people already are invested enough, they will kind of be forced to pay to have a somewhat decent experience. Paying should be a luxury or to just get the finished game in the first place. It shouldn't be like the necessity to, after a certain point, keep pouring money into the game, which will probably accumulate to more money than you would spend on just buying a finished game. I don't know, I have never liked the mobile game in industry for that reason. Too many dice roll, too many like paywalls, it's, it's just kind of icky. Kurt Cobain! That poster is... no. But, oh no. That is, no. No, 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 no. Mixer. About this app. Mixer is a next generation live stream platform for gamers to the viewers participate in gameplay itself. Viewers interact with the game being streamed up as they were playing them with the caster. Discord integration allows you to link blah blah blah. Announce when you go live and sync your Mixer subscriptions to roll in a Discord server. That, that didn't go well. I still remember when so many... Actually, some of our friends on Twitch came from Mixer. We call it like Mixer Refugees because they would lose all their partnerships and following when it shut down. It was, it was kind of bad. This man is your friend. Russian, he fights for freedom. <laughs> when was, the, does it have a year? When was this made? And I feel so bad about that entire situation. It's just crap for, for everyone on each side. It's like, it's just bad for everyone. We spend 90% of our life inside us way too much. So today, in honor of Earth Day, Corona is only available outside. <laughs> Timmy, better go outside today. You're gonna miss the Rona. Happy New Year 2020 starts. Iran and USA, Australia, Venice, China. What is happening in China? Outbreak of some new virus, but likely nothing serious. <laughs> This happens almost every year somewhere. It makes for good headlines. Unknown virus kills dozen. But then tend to not mention the disease where mostly people who were already health impaired or know why blah 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 blah. Okay. What a... <laughs> and here we are. Like, like two years later. 26 wholesome female celebrities who are 100% unproblematic. Aha, <laughs> 9 Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> yes, queen. Amy Lee is the love of my life, not in a gay way. Ha 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 ha. Nine years ago. It was, in fact, in a gay way. <laughs> Woo! If you want to live forever, plant a tree in loving memory of Victor Ramos. And there is the tree living forever. As a stump, I feel like the sentiment. Here we go. Oh, I feel like the sentiment 
got a bit stumped. <laughs> the purpose of this whole idea got cut short. Nah. That didn't work out. Who would have thunk it? Oh, I'm so good at this. Man, the puns are just branching out from this one. <laughs> yeah, this made me really sad. I better log off the internet. <laughs> okay, I'm done now. I'm sorry. Stop barking at me. <laughs> I wasn't done. Toshiba Prime Video Netflix HBO View. Oh no. Sony discontinued PlayStation View a while back, leaving this button on my remote useless. That is so sad. It's always so weird when they make these overly specific hardware things that all of a sudden don't fit with anything. It's like software changes faster than hardware most of the time. Why is this a thing? <laughs> An Iraq war doesn't destabilize the Mideast, 2002. Here we go, let's see, COVID-19, blah blah blah, coronavirus in reality, coronavirus in the media. <laughs> there are so many milky posts about this. Oh, the milk. The closest some of us will ever get to heaven. The World Trade Center, New York. No, what do you, I mean, I understand the marketing. It's like tall and cool and stuff, but, but in retrospect, this is just horrible. Oh my, depending on the year, this has very different implications. Things have changed a bit since 1977. There is no reason for any individual to have a computer in their home. Whoops. Well, now we all have computers in our pockets. Heck yes! From a 1999 review of Star Wars Episode 1. Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace Review. Jar Jar Binks will soon be less loved as Winnie the Pooh! Well, it was more like Winnie the Pooh without the age. Oh, that was kind of a pun, right? I am getting so good at this. Oh, I want to race, please. From a 70s children's joke book. Kids, Timmy came home from kindergarten insisting he must take his gun and holster to school the next day. His mother couldn't imagine why and asked, did your teacher tell you to do this? Yes, said Timmy. She said she's going to teach us to draw. That is a really funny pun. But the agingness of this is so bad. It is like atrocious. It's the most innocent, silly pun with a silly kid. And it just turns so sour. Oh, God. Wait, so in Gryffindor Tower, if a boy tries to go up the girl staircase, it turns into a slide, right? What if one day a kid sets foot on it, but it remains stairs all the way to the top? The kid whispers, I knew I was a real girl. Slamming fist on table, more transpositive head cannons. Transpositive cannons should be freaking great while we're at it. So this is so wholesome. It's so sweet. We don't talk about JK. You know, we, we don't talk. But this is this is good wholesome posts. Don't talk about the rest. I bet my left testicle that Apple will not put USB-C in iPhones ever. Oh, how the times have gotten so sad. The Coup's original album cover for their 2001 album, Party Music. Oh, dear God, why are there so many things that age so heckin' poorly? It's so bad. <laughs> it's not even just one thing. There's so many things. Oh, my God. I mean, not even to mention the tragedy, but can you imagine how bummed you must be as a band? You've, like, paid for the design and get all your, like, album planning out, and it's like, oh... Well, now we can't use this anymore. The prevention and correction of left-handedness in children. <laughs> it is probably really bad. Maybe it correlates with a guy here. Who would I thunk? People have had the weirdest things about obsessions with correcting things. I swear to God. <laughs> oh my God, it's so offensive. This child writes with not the same hand as I do. Oh, the world is really going downhill. Today's Throwback Thursday shares a handful of images from our 1979 yearbook. <laughs> Look at that! Maybe they took this picture during Halloween because there is a little ghost there. That must be it, right? Maybe some things shouldn't be, like, honored in Throwback Thursday. Maybe. Berlin views Hotler Kemli. Rising stocks reflect confidence it will not disrupt nation's affairs. Yeah, so anyway, this Kenneth Cole lad from 1996. Wars are fought by email. Handguns are only in museums. All sex is safe. America is back on its feet. The year is 2020. <laughs> I mean, wars fought by email. I guess they just predicted Twitter. Although it's not really like a serious war. It's more just people bickering and arguing for stuff that rarely has an impact when they just turn off the computer. <laughs> So it's kind of accurate, right? Yeah. This meme from 2011. Google Plus, Facebook, everyone leaves it for Google Plus, that social media platform that everyone is enjoying to this day. Woo! 
Look at all these gym machines. Heck yeah, we got an integrated charger with a plug that, that doesn't fit anything anymore. <laughs> Good. So, Senior Slave Day was a thing in my uncle's high school back in 1984. Hold what? Senior slave? What, what does this mean? On December 7th, 1984, the seniors were sold as slaves to anyone who wanted to have some fun in dressing one of them up as his or her slave. The auction was held in the morning and both lunch periods in the cafeteria. The bids varied from $2 all the way up to $80, which was the selling price of Jackie. This was the day seniors will definitely look back on with a smile. Holy sh- What? The <laughs> yeah, the fancy old wholesome yearbooks that we all remember. How fun, how quaint. 3D printing just leveled up big time as in a 3D printed Lamborghini. You wouldn't download the car. I would totally download a car. If I just had a car-sized casual 3D printer, I would definitely 3D... Why not? Pokemon Go! Community Day voting is coming back with some changes. Oh my god, it's Pokemon. Cyberpunk, vote for Weedlepunk. Hey guys, you should do a collab with Pokemon Go. Are you saying our game is going to crash a lot? <laughs> I could... <laughs> Apple iPhone now real. Oh my god, 2007? This is a throwback. I don't get it. Who's gonna want a phone that's as large as an iPod and looks like an iPod? Sure, it worked for music, but for a phone? <laughs> Meh. This will never catch on. I mean, I sort of understand the sentiment, because back then, we had this weird obsession with making everything smaller. I distinctly remember one of my dad's colleagues had one of those super tiny flip phones that was like this big. And you could like flip it up and be like, hello, yes, it's me on tiny phone. So everything was obsessed with making it smaller and like neater and cutesy. And then we found out that, oh my god, you can watch adult naughty films on the screen. Let's make it really large. I'm ki okay, there are more reasons that, but humans are naughty, okay? Don't it, my lord of Stephen Dixon and lady, to study to stay close to trees. Oh dear. So they kept the gate, but removed everything else. They just nuked the whole forest. Let's keep this sign about donating these trees <laughs> as a reserve, <laughs> but remove the reserve. <laughs> nice. This scene from Heroes in 2006 about YouTube. I'm gonna put this thing on YouTube. Make like a million bucks. YouTube is free, you idiot. <laughs> you know, the best thing on YouTube now is that you also make one dollar per view. <laughs> Ellen Fapper, Christians Against Masturbation. Ellen Okay. Face mask ordered for my dad only a few days before finding out he was having a long-term affair with his assistant. I love my wife, best dad ever. <laughs> oh dear god. No. <laughs> and the worst thing is that you have those things around us to remind you of the horribleness. Ah. Oh. Mugshots.com put people's mugshots online and then demanded pavement to take them down. The site's founders were just arrested for extortion. Here are their mugshots. <laughs> That's such a scummy site, though. Oh my god, we're basically gonna completely, I don't know, put you on display online in bad faith, and you have to pay to remove the bad stuff? No, it's the, 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 the... Horse versus automobile. Before you discard your horse and buy an auto, it is well to think of the cost. Figure how much you spend for a harness, and then think of what new tires amount to. Figure out what it takes to feed Dobbin in a year, and think of gasoline repairs and storage charges. Dobbin is worth what you paid for him two years ago, with a man with an auto that can say the same. Come in and get a new harness instead of a new car, and remember that Dobbin will take you through snow and mud as well as on good roads, and that his Car adventurer is never out of order. E. D. Klein, Massachusetts Street. <laughs> yes, indeed. Horses don't grow old, but cars do. Horses are notorious for living forever. <laughs> it's fascinating. I remember I see saw some old ads also about, for, for example, re supporting your local ice block man instead of buying a refrigerator. It's like it, at every turn in history where something new comes along, it, it always has these like weird ads that age in a very funny way. It's kind of interesting. David Dobrik, if I left everything in the vlogs that I recorded, we would all be in prison. <laughs> <laughs> this freaking subreddit, man. <laughs> The Inquiring Photographer Do you think current popularity of video games is going to last? We asked Sharon B, a word processor. No, I don't think video games will last because they are not educational. Because everything in the in the world that has lasted is educational. Like, what about movies? Or like, I don't know, the adult fun time. That has been pretty consistent throughout history. It's not particularly educational. 
Video games are just a fad that will slowly fade away. The public always gets bored and turn to something else. Just wait and see. This was 1982. <laughs> Got him good. Buzzfeed. Newsflash, buddy. If you're a guy and looking endlessly to find Jennifer Lawrence leaked nudes, then you are what's wrong with our current society. I mean, yeah, lo looking up leaked stuff from celebrities is, is weird, fam. You should get a new hobby. Buzzfeed. The baby's nudes allegedly leaked online and I just just want to say thanks Santa Claus for coming early this year. For coming early this year? That's a, that's a pun. But also, uh, yuck, the hypocrisy is absolutely staggering. What are you doing? I suppose BuzzFeed was never really the uh, the number one source for consistent moral guidance, was it? A photo taken in the Arctic Ocean of the same place in 1915 versus 2020. So here we go, a nice big ice wall, and now it's pretty much just gone. Uh, the mountains are free once again. Is that like one of the lobbies for, for being pro this stuff? Free the mountains? The ice wall is gone! Now the flat earthers will run free! Let's round them all up before it's too late! But won't they fall off the edge? Might as well let <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> the magic ice wall. My Airbnb in Hawaii has a Roku that still has the blockbuster button. Oh yeah, it's another one of those ones. It's so weird. I swear to God, it's so weird. Go out, breathe, and listen, and trust your gut in 2020. Just take a deep breath of that smelly human <sighs> niceness. Thank you, ad that aged really poorly. Vamoosh. Kim Kardashian knew Kane was the one because of how he sleeps. I mean... That didn't age well, but also, what is with, like, some of these celebrities that have, have these really weird standards? Like, oh, they are a Scorpio, so we will definitely go well together because we have planned our, our devious stuff. You know how many Scorpios there are in the world? Let me look this up. How many... Wh what's it even called? Star signs? Horoscope? What, what is it called? Star signs are there. I don't, is that what it's called in English? There are 12 astrological signs. Okay, how many people are there in the world? Right now, it's 7.95 billion. So let's round it up to a nice 8. So 8 divided by 12 is roughly 0 0.666. So 666 million people have the same freaking astrological sign as you do. So it's like, ah! Uh, I mean, my brother is a Scorpio, and he was mean to me once, so so that means it's correct. I could just as easily probably find someone in, you know, the other 666 million people who are a Scorpio, and be like, yeah, it's, here's the exact opposite. It's so like, oh my god, it's not that unique. It's ridiculous. Oh, I'm a freaking god. Anyway, I don't know why I went on that side rant, but it was kind of funny. Um... Cease. If vaccines were healthy, you should put it on a spoon and eat it. Try it. <laughs> You'll die. Researchers successfully try vaccines into a film that is shelf-stable. Needs no refrigeration, dissolves into the mouth, delivered at doses effectively as a shot, and remained effective after three years. I mean, the polio vaccine is often dripped into sugar cube and taken orally. <laughs> That feels like something that belongs on Confidently Correct. <laughs> this freaking post. Beware tech abandoners and people without Facebook accounts are suspicious. This article is more than nine years old. Really? I once lost a job opportunity because of this. I had two interviews that went really well. I had great rapport with the interviewees. Everything was going great and then I got ghosted. I knew the recruiter for a friend of a friend and asked what I had done wrong. She told me someone in HR tried to look me up on Facebook and discovered I didn't have a page. So we tossed my resume in the trash. I was freaking furious for a long time about that. Same, a place asked for my Facebook and Twitter accounts. I said I don't have one. They assumed I was lying and didn't hire me. I don't have either. It's like those, you know, half shady websites that's like, oh, you have to sign up with a Facebook here. It's like that, but with a literal job. <laughs> Wild. Well, laddies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you enjoyed this beautiful video and how things really do age like fine, lumpy milk. <sighs> Yummalicious. And have an amazing rest of your day because you do deserve it. Take care. Mwah. Yeah!